The real tragedy is, at the end of the day, the people who want to ban hunting and ourselves here, we both want the same thing, which is lots of animals in big wide open spaces. People want to see lions. We also love to see lots of lions. We love it. And lots of buffalo and elephant and rhino and wild dogs and cheetah and all these things. Where the problem comes is how do we arrive at that? You have to put in infrastructure if you're going to maintain high game numbers. That's your water, your fences, your fire protection. The myth of Africa is this big wilderness where game can move backwards and forwards is a myth. If you go on Google Earth and look here on our northern boundary, you can see the hard boundaries. We have people living within two meters of our boundary fence. You lose a species here, it's not going to migrate in from somewhere. And if they get overcrowded, they're not going to migrate out. They are going to die a miserable death, one way or the other. Through inter-specific competition, lions killing lions, buffalo starving to death. It's got to be managed just as any cattle farmer, any chicken farmer, because you cannot just keep letting populations build up willy-nilly. There's got to be a balance. And unfortunately, we have to balance things these days. This is of concern to us when we hear this move to ban hunting and that. Because if there was no hunting here, I very much doubt, given our terrain and vegetation here, whether we'd be able to draw enough non-consumptive tourists here to actually generate the income that we require. We have more rhino on this property than combined population of rhino in state protected areas. It's a category one IUCN population. If hunting goes, we could well lose these rhino and everything else. And this habitat here, I mean, what's the point of keeping it there? We might as well put cattle in. Let's say this place, we got rid of the game. We turn it into a big cotton farm. You've got beautiful basalts down the south. Cotton soil is actually what it's called. Now, in this country, we use a lot of pesticides on our cotton. So we'd actually be actually doing more damage to the environment by turning it, say, into agricultural land. So cotton, which is very popular here, so seen as a cash crop, then the current use of hunting. Whichever landform option you want, there's challenges. And that is the, the tragedy of this conflict between hunting and non-hunting.